All right, I'm speaking to high-performing leaders. If that's you, listen up. Are you swamped with operational tasks and constantly putting out fires, feeling trapped? That, my friends, is what I call tactical chaos, right? But don't worry, the way out isn't another business strategy fad. It's alignment. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how focused alignment can set you free. Let's dive in. Have you ever found yourself like drowning in tasks that seem urgent but not important? Like just endless firefighting, decision fatigue, everything feels like a priority. Does any of that sound familiar? See, endless firefighting is when solving immediate problems takes precedence over long-term strategy. Decision fatigue is about being mentally drained from the number of small decisions that you need to make on a daily basis. Everything feeling like a priority, right? Like that, that's a common thread amongst many leaders. But the truth is this, when everything is a priority, nothing is. So let me say this again. Endless firefighting, decision fatigue, everything is a priority. I call this tactical chaos, where you're consumed by the current fire of the day that causes you to lose sight of the bigger picture. See, I often talk about the power of alignment for a reason. The cure for tactical chaos is alignment. This isn't fluff, it's science and it's proven. See, alignment is about focus, right? Identifying what truly matters to redirect you and your team's energy where it's needed most. It's about coordinated execution. See, a team executes, when, it, when a team executes as a cohesive unit, right? It is aligned. And it's about performance. When everybody is aligned around a common goal, it becomes much easier for your team to perform and meet your expectation. The opposite is also true. A lack of focus, a team that isn't operating as a well-oiled machine, and an underperforming team that isn't reaching its full potential are symptoms of what pulls you in to the day-to-day -day vortex of tactical chaos. Okay, enough with my high-level stuff right now. Let's get practical. Here are five things that you can implement right now to get you and your team aligned. One, define the ultimate goal. What is the ultimate goal? See, that sounds so simple, but it's not. I can't tell you how often I ask this question when people call me to discuss a current challenge that they find themselves in. They don't realize at the time, but they're stuck in, the vor in, the, in that vortex I'm talking about, about, about tactical chaos. I usually interrupt them with, hey, what's the ultimate goal? And I gotta tell you, nine out of 10 times, this usually stops them in the tracks, which is my intention. See, we as leaders need to pull our team out of the tactical chaos. This requires you to zoom out and remind everyone what is the ultimate goal. Number two, prioritize. Every leader needs to develop the ability to filter and prioritize everything vying for their attention. Bottom line, right? See, contrary to what we've been led to believe, everything is not a priority and all priorities are not created equal. With that said, what are the priorities for your team? What are the specific priorities that will lead your team closer to achieving that ultimate goal? Number three, track, measure, and monitor. How will you know if you're successful? What are the leading indicators telling you that you and your team are on track? How often will you measure results? What tools will you use? How will you track, track measure, and monitor success must be crystal clear so everyone knows. Four, communicate clearly. Your job as a leader is to remove ambiguity. See, oftentimes we communicate our goals and priorities as if we're speaking to ourselves or one of our top performers. That's the wrong audience. See, they understand our jargon and can usually finish our sentences. Instead, you must communicate to the lowest common denominator. Can just think about being in a dentist chair and when a dentist asks you what you do for a living. You have to explain your job as if you're talking to someone who doesn't know what you do on a daily basis. You have to use clear, basic language. See, years ago, my coach told me that one of my problems was that I was speaking to someone just like me. And not everyone thinks like me. See, that was a huge lesson, right? Which I'm highlighting here for a reason. Clear communication drives alignment. Next, consistent check-ins. Alignment is a dynamic process. You got to make it a point to revisit your goals, your priorities, your strategies and tactics on a regular basis. I know it sounds like common sense, but guess what? It's not common practice. See, having a plan is one thing. Implementing is another. And learning how to adapt and on the fly is the critical skill that every leader needs to teach their team. Let me share an example. A C-suite leader of a tech company I know was perpetually in crisis mode until she embraced alignment. 
She took the time to clearly define the ultimate goal, the priority steps, the priority steps she wanted her team to take, right? And, and she put a system in place to track, measure, and monitor everyone's results. And then she communicated her expectations and rallied her team during weekly check-in calls, which she recommitted to not canceling, right? Within a quarter, not only did her company's productivity nearly double, but she was able to focus her time and energy on the things that she loved to do, right? The things that she was good at and the things that the company needed her to do. She finally had the freedom to do that because she got her team aligned. That's the power of alignment. If you're in the cage of tactical chaos, I want you to know this. That is not where your destiny lies. Alignment is the key that will unlock the door to freedom. Are you ready to shift from chaos to clarity, from scattered to streamlined? Our Leadership Transformation Accelerator Program can fast track your journey. Take the first step and follow the link below and just simply book an exploratory conversation. No sales pitch, just an honest conversation about your situation. Who knows? Maybe nothing will come of it. Or maybe something might come of it. One of us may decide that we're not a good fit. One of us might, might say, hey, thanks, but no thanks. Or both of us just might say, just maybe, hey, let's do business together. Regardless of what we decide, I know and I'm very confident that you will get some ideas from our conversation that you can leverage right away. The link is in the description if you're interested. If you're not ready yet, hey, that's cool too. Let me at least buy you a copy of my book, Freedom to Experiment. How to ignite a new low of energy, focus, and momentum in yourself and your team. Follow the link in the description and I'll personally sign a copy for you. Okay, if you like what I shared today, do me a favor. Give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below related to your business, and of course, subscribe. Because each week I'm sharing content to help you and your team embrace change, focus your efforts, and accelerate results. Remember this, you're just one idea away. I hope to talk to you soon.